a wonderful good morning and buongiorno from the Cinque Torri, which means translated the five towers, not the two towers, Lord of the Rings style. It's the five towers. Today it's pretty early because we slept here, as you saw yesterday. And yeah, it's uh, still very cloudy, which is like normal for for a cloudy, <laughs> cloudy mornings in the mountains. But um, yeah, we uh, try now to approach uh, this old um, rock formation. We're now right in the clouds. 2000 and almost 200 meters high. We're inhaling clouds. <laughs> Smoking trees, inhaling clouds. Right in the middle of the vortex. Of course, now we should have the best phone connection possible. With this little radio tower. a slight feeling that this path stays like this now because we approached already the maximum altitude of this track uh, of this trail if I'm not mistaken I'll take care it's slippy Because I'm afraid to wake up the trolls and the fairies. It almost remembers me on those on it was, I think it was called the Burren in Ireland and I also have it in a vlog and I think I even called it something with the Burren as well. But yeah, I'm not sure. But yeah, it look, it's, yeah, it's like very fairy tale ish. Pure rock desert. I mean, okay, despite the uh, meadows between, but. Despite that fact, it's pure rock desert. And yeah, as mentioned already two days ago, never bring sneakers. So you may try, but. <laughs> Um, you will be crack an ankle and those shoes will look like trash afterwards anyway. I think our way probably leads us either there and then to this little hut or It leads us straight around the mountain, what we're actually hoping for, because we want to visit the this monument. I mean, it was once a it was once a um, if I read red ride, it was once a one big rock, which was separated apart into five into five um, pieces. Correct me if I'm wrong, or I correct my, corrected myself already if I'm wrong, but I think that's what it was but yeah there's also <laughs> actually there's a lift uh -huh. for lazy bums like us also an option well the only downside on all this is that uh, if you want to do pictures you have to catch a very nice day <laughs> because yeah the clouds are there and it's foggy and yeah, catching the pictures not pretty easy. Yeah. 
And there we are again. It's uh, the way it's leading to this little shelter, hood, hut, <laughs> restaurant. I pawned down earlier before and now <laughs> that's to the topic steepness. Oh, it's not as close, as bad as the last time. Not at all. Oh, okay. This is so steep. He even almost fall backwards again. Oh no, this is like an 80%, I would say. Yeah. And we are on an altitude of 2200 now. Which means it also will be colder up there. All right. And now the soil, whatever soil, the minerals, the, the rocks turned brown and beige, changed their colors. Uh, but it's almost done, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> but uh, depending what's behind that, and that turn. And we will have more, I guess. Oh no, it's so close and so dark. All right, the last steps. Oh. This freaking little shit. I mean, of course, it goes up the, the mountain as well. That's it, bro. 2416. And for the short rest we had. We are approaching now our final destination and this will remember you very likely on the Santa's pictures or Santa's videos because this is now not hiking, I mean this is now um, climbing as well a little bit but they say it's an easy route which is uh, very likely also good for amateurs like we are. It's quite freezy here now. Of course, they're also only taking their little kids up here. Marina is pretty fast. All right, I didn't expect it. <laughs> it looks like this up in here. But um, yeah, quite funky and it's gonna be pretty cold. That's why we have to move. No idea why <laughs> those people can sit around for so long and now, there's the, at least a little bit of the mountains to see now, without clouds. But yeah, over there we have this Cinque to uh, Cinque, uh, Cinque? Cinque. <laughs> Cinque Tori over there. I could say right now, oh, we were <laughs> on the top up there. But um, yeah, it doesn't make sense because uh, yeah, we're both pretty exhausted and um, we decided then instead going like halfway to this uh, Cinque Torri and um, yeah catching some nice little impressions there as well and or we have our feast today at the restaurant down there although we're, I don't know depending maybe we just have a little panini a little sandwich and uh, then heading our way back and have our feast tonight. Because tonight we have to, um, uh, first time in two days, we need to ride a little bit more because we need to go finally to warm places because yeah, we had enough of um, uh, between eight and 15 degrees. Uh, okay, yesterday it was uh, sometimes even 20, but um, yeah, I think we are ready for some um, sea breeze for a couple of days. But um, yeah, stay tuned, we have definitely 
the one or other city trip as well in our backpacks but yeah since a couple of months or already a year or so I'm looking much forward to do stuff like this there we go the best places so far Nice. Right, so, and before we make our back home, uh, make our way back home, so we decided against paninis and go a little bit bigger. I mean, just a little bit. We ordered small stuff, and we started with two birra moretti, and um, they brought us this little mixed uh, stuff with I don't know, like breadies and um, uh, they have all all those pa um, pastries and stuff. They have also crostinis, gr grassetti, grossetti. They have also so much name. So and I guess they're pretty nice. I think this is this um, called um, shaky bread. We call it in Germany or like in Switzerland. It's like with um, unfortunately I don't know the, the translation for kümmel. Um, uh, but I will um, put it in the subtitles as well. And uh, yeah, so Marina goes with what? What did you order? Some ah spaghetti with uh, garlic and chili oil. Uh, so-called, we also eat in Germany pretty often, um, spaghetti al um, al <laughs> a olio. Um, and uh, I eat some German dish like roasted potatoes with um, uh, eggs and bacon. So small stuff that we can eat at least something tonight. So And yeah, all those little breadies, they have spices in it, especially this kümmel. And it tastes even better if you have such a view. But still, as at, uh, at this, um, the last spots we had, <laughs> it must be so much and so incredibly nice and outstanding. Like Santa's, where we had like outstanding weather. And then you can watch like hundreds of kilometers. Super, super nice. Oh, our dish has arrived. And of course, you see what you get. And uh, these are the aglio olio, and um, normally they're like super delicious. I also like them pretty much. And Marina will sleep alone tonight because, yeah, Knoblauch. So, try it. Mm. It's good. Yeah. All right, then we'll have a feast. Buono appetito. That what is that? Mm. The <laughs> the bread appetizers, uh, they were in the house, by the way. Oh, there was one guy, like, lying down. Um, even the bread appetizers was like a whole meal, I would say. But, um, yeah, this uh, whole thing, two beers, and uh, everything what you saw came, like, on 40 bucks. Like, it was actually, it was like 38, but 40 with tip. So, technically. Whoa. So actually it was, a, was all right. I mean, if you compare this to Switzerland, where we had like uh, <laughs> two beers and the worst um, um, ham and cheese plate ever, uh, and we paid like, I don't know, we have to rewatch it, but I think it was like 45 or 50 bucks. Uh, completely ridiculous. So then this was a bargain. And of course, I mean, this stuff has to go up here and etc. It's totally, totally um, um, okay. But Switzerland is like, yeah, it's too outrageous. Anyway, I think you saw everything. Maybe I'll find something on the way back. It would be nice to catch some great photos, but uh, these clouds, uh, they, they, won't, they won't disappear so fast, so. That's why we make the best out of it as usual. And yeah, that's it. Cinque Terre was pretty nice. You can spend at least a couple of days in this area because there's so many routes to hike. So for a daily hike, yes, you have to decide for one. And um, we decided to make a round circle. In this sense, Ervidaci.